Hi, I'm Sharon. I'm Anthony, and this is Mike, her husband. Tomorrow, I'm going to be joining a group of people doing what's called the Frontline Walk. It's a hundred kilometre walk across the Western Front. This is, uh, uh, so this is my fourth time, um, and it's always meant a lot to me. So putting myself through something like the Frontline Walk is a small price to pay to be able to give something back to a charity that has done so much for uh, my friends and, and my colleagues. There's another reason why we're actually doing this as a way of remembering and saying thank you for the sacrifice. So bring it on. Um, yeah, we're ready. I'm going to head to the Sean. Um, it's going to be a, an emotional day, I would imagine. We just arrived at the Loch Nagar crater, just getting off the bus. I'm really nervous and thinking, can I do this? You can't stand here and not feel the significance of this place. If ever you come over here, you've got to come. Good morning, this is the start of day two. And we've come to a German cemetery. It really brings it home about the amount of life lost. German, British, Canadian, French, all souls. And we're now at the, the biggest of the French cemeteries. It's a place that just stuns you. Second line from the top is Frederick Cyril Driffel. Sharon's great, great uncle. We're now in Tynecott Cemetery. We're just entering the back of Tynecott Cemetery and um, for several years now they've had these speakers in the grounds where some young girl is reading the names and ages of those who are missing. William Williamson, age 25. Wilfred Holland, age 26. We go to the final place at Menning Gate where we've all got to over these three days. All credit to yourselves walking for those that have gone before us. We are soldiers, all of us today going to be there right through the Menning Gate. Everybody's been part of our team and we are a team. And thank you very much. It's been the most wonderful yeah. experience. Let's go. get under your skin. Why? The things you see, the stories you hear, the experience, the emotions. If you have any worries whether you can do this or not, yeah, it, it, it's yeah, tough, it's hard, but you yeah. will be looked after and you'll be safe and, and that's the important thing. It's called a challenge because it is a challenge, yeah, it is. it's a physical yeah. challenge and it's a mental challenge as well at times, a whole psychological challenge, um, one which I will remember forever. I've just run out of words to be honest to, to describe it. It's it's one of those things that that I think everybody should at least attempt to do once in their life. You you can make a real difference to our soldiers, our veterans and their families. But at the same time you can you can stretch yourself, you can better yourself and just perhaps get to know yourself a little bit better through through an event like this. <laughs>